Hello again, year four. This will most likely be our only uh, read theory or reading skills video. Um, it will be a reintroduction to the read theory program. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me. The email address will be in the PowerPoint presentation, which I'm just about to share with you. Perfect. So an introduction or a reintroduction to read theory. Many of you um, completed this at home when we were back for those few days. Lots of you logged in. There are a few people that haven't logged in yet. So please make sure that you get this information. Otherwise, you'll be missing out on a lot of important reading comprehension. The email you need um, is Rowan Year 4 at greenridgeacademy.co.uk. And if you email me over, I can send over the login details. As before, I can't do that generically for GDPR and, and, and um, specific reasons like that, as you will be aware. So what is read theory? Um, a lot of this we repeated from before and I've added a couple of bits on at the end. So you can skip forward a minute or so if you've listened to this one before. Read Theory is an online program that we intended to use once per week in the spring term. However, at the moment for remote learning, we will be doing that daily. Um, it boosts comprehension. It exposes children to short extracts, very much like they're going to see an upper key stage two. And it's a really efficient way to work on certain um, comprehension skills in general. If you're child has not already completed the mini assessment that's the first test um, they will do that when they first log in if they are finding the test a bit too tricky and they keep scoring below their initial test if you just email me what i'll do is i'll reset their um, login and their um, their scores and they can retake that baseline test and progress again from there as they may have had a little bit of assistance the first time which is okay but now they're doing it independently it's a bit trickier every day when they log in they'll have these extracts and the expectation is you do at least three every day they probably only take between five or a maximum of ten minutes okay so at least three every day and one child per week will be selected as a reading champion this will be based on knowledge points the number of tests taken, and most importantly, and I can't emphasize this enough, especially on analyzing the data from before, the accuracy of your answers, and then the progress you make from test to test. It tells me, and I show the children in class this, if you scored above or below your pre-test, this assessment here. So we wanna keep seeing go above, above, above. So really focus on your answers. To log in, we just go onto the Google search drive and type in read theory login, and it's our top link there. And then you'll be redirected to this page, which will be your username and password. And again, please remember to email me if you don't know what that is. This is your starter test. If you haven't done so already, eight questions approximately 15 to 20 minutes. Throughout this, I can track who's logged in, when they've logged in, how often they've logged in. I can see their knowledge points. I can see which questions they got um, correct, which questions they're struggling with. It then breaks it down into if they're particularly struggling with inference questions or retrieval questions. It's an amazing resource to have, so please use it as effectively as possible and remember i can reset those initial baseline tests if you need me to good luck have fun i look forward to seeing your progress bye for now